gone. Where'd she go? Well, it's up in the clouds, somewhere between here and Springfield. That's the one thing we miss. <laughs> green. Where is the green? How the tornado affected the city, just, it was amazing the level of damage that occurred. You know, it's not just trees in the woods that we can go out and salvage and still make products out of. It's not a farm or something where next year you grow back. You know, this is people's homes. And in, at that, of course, there are trees, there are street trees, uh, the trees in their yard with the tires swing in it, and there are fruit trees, and they're back by their garden. People rebuild by next year and by the year after. It's going to take a long time to get those trees back in there. The Urban Forest Strike Team has been around for several years, and they're, you know, from the U.S. Forest Service, but they became the experts in what to do after a storm. And so what happened is we were able to set up a training to get 18 people right here in Missouri trained. What we're looking for is trees that are blown over, be, uh, that, or pulled over, exposed heartwood, exposed heartwood. Hangers, uh, on hangers. Okay. Uh, so if it doesn't have a hanger and doesn't have exposed heartwood, we're not counting it. Okay. Well, remember where you need to be at. You yeah, you gotta be at the base. Right on the tree. You gotta climb to the top of it to get a better GPS. Okay, give me, <laughs> give me a foot. <laughs> we're getting trained to be able to go out as a unit to assist in disaster areas and help assess trees on their health and damage to be eligible for FEMA reimbursement and to help the communities. Today we were learning the FEMA standards, what will and will not qualify a tree for FEMA reimbursement, and then took practical exercises out in the area that's had some damage and went through the assessment so we can determine what does count and doesn't count towards FEMA. But I thought in that private property, it you is. made me come back. I was going over yeah, here. Go okay. We can do well, it there all you set. go. It's not maintained for We've already got our heading for him. If you're the ones where I thought we made a difference when we came over to help assess the trees were the ones that people, because of a flush of growth that trees do naturally after they've been injured, people assumed that their tree was going to be fine. So it took a certified arborist or someone knowledgeable in tree physiology to explain to those homeowners why that tree wasn't going to make it long term. A couple of people just, you know, they've been through so much, and they were attached to the trees. People are very affectionate towards their trees, and they really didn't want to see the tree gone. Oh, beautiful 60-footer cypress, standing up tall, still had her bark on her. Evidently, the uh, Arbor Foundation, or arborists, or whoever they are that say that tree's good, that tree's not good, they didn't want to wait. They just wanted to come out there with a 24-inch chainsaw and Cut her down. Stand back. It's falling this way. Okay, great. Uh, I don't know if to get angry or sad. Right in between. Ah. Yeah, things grow back, man. I mean, that's Mother Nature. You know what I mean? I, I guess you got God, and then you got Mother Nature. I guess they're hand in hand, or one in the same. But I tell you what, uh, God's present here now. You know what I mean? And and he's he's helping he's helping this place out. You know, and I, I'm just glad to be part of it. But I think uh, the trees that are still standing right now, I can see the green growth on them. I know they're going to recover. You know, just like my friend here, Chris. Man, he's going to recover. Just move on. Be glad you got a family. They'll come back. You build, I don't know what, I think Kevin Costner said it best. Build it and they will come. Yeah. But I'll build. I'll grow. I'll get something out here. One way or another.